had quite the potent storm system that moved through yesterday and really throughout the entire Midwest, widespread heavy precipitation was reported. In Dayton, 2.71 inches of rain fell. Elida picked up 2.37 inches of rain. Lima, you picked up 2.25 inches of precipitation. A trace of that fell as a little bit of snow at the end, but the vast majority of it fell as rain. And because of all the heavy rain, look at the Ottawa River at State Route 117. Laura Allwork sent this picture in and notice how high up that river is to really the roadways. And there are quite a few areas across West Central Ohio where flooding is still a problem. So looking at the satellite radar right now, generally we're quiet right now. This is just some little bit of ground clutter, but we have several flood warnings throughout the area. So it's going a bit of a tour right now to cover each of them. So we have a flood warning for the Eagle Creek in central Hancock County that will run through through tonight. We have another flood warning in effect that extends from Delphus all the way to Fort Jennings. This is for the Auglaise River. And as we head north to Defiance and Napoleon, we have a few slew of flood warnings across this area. The Maumee River from Defiance through Napoleon has been under a flood warning. And then another flood warning is in effect for the Tiffin River north of Defiance. So if you're heading out and about, please be very careful because rivers across the area are still high. Looking across current river stages, the Eagle Creek is in moderate flooding at 10.18 feet. It is falling right now. Now, however, the Maumee River, as we approach Defiance, is 11.72 feet in minor flooding. The crest is now, and then in Napoleon, it is 10.7 feet, so that's considered near flood stage, but it will keep rising to 13 feet. And the Algays River at Fort Jennings will rise to 13 feet as well. So be careful if you're heading out and about because we still have quite a bit of flooding. We have picked up a trace of precipitation today. Monthly total is at 2.25 inches. Looking at current temperatures, 47 in Lima across the south. We're in the upper 40s to right around 50. And across the north, we're in the middle to upper 40s. 46 in Ayersville, likewise in Ottawa. So looking at Skycast, we will be dropping down into the middle to upper 30s for lows. We'll have variably cloudy skies. Going into our daytime tomorrow, we'll rise into the lower 50s. Think we'll get a little bit warmer than what future, future cast is showing. Going into so Monday morning, we'll drop down the middle to upper 30s, but then we'll warm up quite well Monday afternoon. Look at that, middle 60s for highs across the area. But notice the wind shift right here Monday afternoon. That is a cold front, and I do expect a few afternoon showers that could arrive Monday afternoon and evening. So keep that in mind when you're planning your Monday. Tonight, 34 degrees, a quiet night, variably cloudy, seasonably mild. Tomorrow, not bad at all. How about that? 50 degrees, mix of sun and clouds. Looking at the seven-day forecast, Monday, partly cloudy with a few isolated showers possible in the afternoon, 65. Tuesday through Thursday, just great March weather across the area. Partly cloudy skies, low, highs in the lower 40s. Then as we get to next Friday and Saturday, the weather models are all over the place. Right now, I'm calling for rain possible Friday. Can't rule out a brief mix, but right now I am leaning toward more of a liquid solution. High temperatures in the lower to middle 40s. Sartage.